Today, I'm gonna to show you how I make Marry Me Chicken. This chicken has been trending all year long, and I know why, it's so good. You can serve this with rice, mashed potatoes, or pasta. Here's how I make it. Okay, so let's go over the ingredients for this Marry Me Chicken. Here I have a little over two pounds of chicken breast that I split in half and pounded thin. It's not ultra thin, but I wanted to make all the pieces um, even so they cook evenly. I'm gonna season with garlic powder, onion powder, Italian seasoning. This is a dry herb blend. And I will be adding some crushed red pepper flakes into the mix, salt, pepper. I have a little bit of diced onion. Here I have some butter that I'll be using unsalted and three cloves of garlic that I roughly chopped. Fresh basil into the mix. I'm also gonna be using heavy cream, Parmesan cheese grated, and sun-dried tomatoes. I already bought these like cut, so that'll make life easier. I'll probably use like half this jar. And some chicken broth or chicken stock. I'm gonna season the chicken and dredge this in some all-purpose flour before we start to cook and brown the chicken. Here we go. Here I have a large pan. I'm going to preheat it over a medium heat. Let that preheat over time. And I have an extra baking sheet here for when the chicken is browned and cooked. I'll put it here. Let's dredge. Here I have my chicken, and you can actually marinate this or season it ahead of time and let it hang out. I'm gonna go in with garlic powder, eyeballing, maybe a teaspoon. Let's start with a teaspoon. Onion powder. And these are granulated garlic and onion, not actual the fine powder. And a teaspoon of this dry Italian herb blend. I'm gonna go with a teaspoon of salt, cracked black pepper, okay, that works. For the dredge, here I have a little over a half cup of all-purpose flour. You probably could put a cup like on a flat plate or baking dish, and I'm just going to add some garlic powder and onion powder, and just shake in a little bit of salt. I don't want things to be too salty, but I'll do like half teaspoon of salt. Some cracked black pepper in the mix. Combine. I'm gonna coat and dredge, and you just do each side in the flour. Okay, and just like that, it's dredged and it's ready for the pan. And I'll repeat the process. Okay, so this has been preheating. I'm gonna coat, well, as much as I can, maybe one and, mm, one and a half to two tablespoons of cooking oil. <laughs> I just added whatever I had left. And I'm also gonna go in with Knobs of butter, I'd say like at least a tablespoon, tablespoon and a half. And I'm going to let that melt. If you hear noise in the back, that is my son. Okay, let's get this melted. Here I have my chicken that I've already dredged. And I'm going to place this right into my preheated pan. Just like that. And I'm going to come over here, dredge the next piece. I'm doing things by myself in the kitchen. Sometimes it seems rushed because honestly, I am trying to get dinner on the table. Uh, let's see. Here we go. And you want to shake off the excess flour. You don't want to keep it heavily coated. Okay, going in. Next piece. Right into my pan. Okay, and I'm going to brown these for several minutes on each side. Cook time always varies, especially depending how thick 
the chicken is. This is pounded kind of thin, so it's not going to take very long on each side. I'm going to give this a flip. So here I have fresh basil, and you'll notice I'm, I'm going to give this a rinse, and I'm not going to cut it early. What I'll do is right before I add it to the dish, I'm just going to rip them into pieces. But you definitely can, you know, get your leaves, roll it up, and chop it up. But I'm just going to do hand-torn pieces because these leaves are kind of large, so that's what I'm going to do for the basil in this dish. Okay. So I believe this is one is done. I'm going to place it right on my baking dish. I mean, my baking sheet. This one's done as well. Right over here. Here we go. Okay, these are going to hang out. Here I have another like tablespoon of butter going in the pan. I'm going to lower this just a little bit. Going in with my onion. I'm going to give that a head start and saute. If the pan gets too hot, just lower the heat. There's a lot of residual heat when you work with cast iron or stainless steel. And I want to saute this. Now going with the garlic. I don't want to burn the garlic, so it's not going to take a long time to saute. Now for the crushed red pepper flakes. And I'm just going to wake these up, warm them through quickly. And I'll go with like a quarter teaspoon. If you want things spicier or with a more kick, then you know, go with more. And here I have my sun-dried tomatoes. I'm going to show you. This is an 8.5 ounce jar. I kind of went with half the jar. Going in. It has a little bit of that oil, which is fine. I'm going to warm these through. So here I have my low-sodium chicken broth. Use your favorite chicken broth or stock, and that's going in. I'm going to go oh, with half a cup. You know what? I'm going to go with a whole cup. And now I'm going to pick up all of that flavor and fond and let this reduce a little. You'll want to reduce it by half, so it is going to take time to simmer and pick up this fond. Okay, so now I'm going to add my heavy cream, a cup. That should do the trick. I'm going to give that a stir. You see the chicken broth completely um, simmered and reduced a bit. Okay, I don't want this to, I don't want the sauce to break, so I kind of have this on a low heat, and I'm going to add in, let's start with like a third cup of Parmesan cheese. And get that going, that'll thicken the sauce, and I haven't really added salt to this sauce because Parmesan cheese it's definitely salty, so you want to do that until the end. Okay, so we're going to get that going. Oh man, it smells good. Here are my basil leaves, and I have a lot of like small ones, so I'm going to add some of the small ones now to get, you know, going with the cream sauce. And then I'll finish with a little bit more to keep that vibrant green color to garnish. I'm going to add my chicken back into the sauce and I'm just going to some of it this pan is not completely <laughs> it, it's not big enough for every single piece of chicken but I'll do the best I can to fit everything in there we go okay so I'm going to just kind of you kind of flip things around, get the chicken coated. Okay, so while the chicken is simmering, I'm going to just, well, these are large leaves, but here are some smaller leaves. What I'm going to do 
is I'm going to take it over to my chicken here and just sprinkle it and garnish on top. There we go. And I'm just going to garnish with a little bit of my sun-dried tomatoes on top. Oh, this is such a beautiful dish. And here we have Marry Me Chicken. So good. I hope you give this recipe a try. I hope you like it. And thanks for watching.